Hi, hi, Sergio Munoz here at MunozTech.com. Today's lesson, I'm going to show you three ways to build better vocabulary with your students. All right, teachers, you want to make teaching fun again? Well, with my digital vocabulary fair models, using these three interactive tools, WordWall, Google, and Google Slides, we will accomplish this, making it fun again. Again, through WordWall.net, it provides a gamified curriculum that is available online, fully customizable with available vocabulary lessons for your kids to interact with as pre-learning activities. Now, Google, if you have not started using Google and Google Classroom, you need to jump onto the Google bandwagon to make teaching 21st technology skills something you do every day, providing real-world connectivity and collaboration. Last but not least, Google Slides. In this presentation, you're going to see how Google Slides provides very highly interactive experience, providing great templates and live feedback and collaboration for students and teachers. All right, so the why. You have to ask yourself why, teachers. Why vocabulary? Why vocabulary development? Now, according to Robert Marzano, the leading researcher in education, he believes knowledge is attained and enhanced through explicit vocabulary development. Now, I'm going to compare the traditional fair model to the digital fair model and my improved fair model. So, the traditional fair model that we see throughout all classrooms alike is this one a paper based assignment. The positives it is a very awesome graphic organizer that requires students. Uh, to write and draw and it is also a very convenient tool for teachers that is just a paper-based assignment away. However, the negatives, it is too open-ended, sometimes resulting in misalignment with curriculum, creating an uncomfortable setting for students who are not great at reading, writing, or drawing. And last but not least, no technology integration throughout the process. Now, with my digital ver vocabulary for our model integration in my classes I have used this for many years the positives it is highly collaborative Google research driven and it's accessible virtually in the Google network okay it does however require technology skills from both the educator and the student alone however the positives outweigh the negatives now in this new and improved digital fair model, we've simplified it for research, providing opportunities for targeted instruction and increase of collaboration, and it is Google-based. Again, the traditional fair model has the definition, characteristics, non-examples, a concept, and examples. I've simplified it and made it with only four boxes in the fair model alone. All right, so moving on to the next one. How do we interact? Well, in my class, students pre-learn the vocabulary using wordwall.net. And in this video, quick little video, it will show you the gamified curriculum of wordwall.net. Again, it is a free resource with various templates you can use. You can also create and modify templates. This one we're watching here is the maze chase. It's like when we grew up, right? Pac-Man. Now we have students learning incorporating Pac-Man gamified curriculum using keywords with definitions and words. And you also have various templates. You have the game show quiz. One of my favorites is the game show quiz because it does create these end of course test questionings that we can create for our students to engage throughout the lesson as a pre-learning, as a assessment tool throughout the learning process. Again, Look at this gamified instruction, very awesome. You also have a chance to share. It is also shareable across the different learning management systems. Again, Google, I love Google. Okay, accessible through Google Classroom and shareable through Google Classroom. Again, wordwall.net, a wonderful experience to share in any class, especially in Ms. Nahara's physics class and Mr. Munoz's class in history. All right, so I'm moving forward. Now, after you interact with Wordwall, we like to incorporate the research tools of Google. Google does eliminate the guesswork by providing students access to the World Wide Web to increase collaboration and their knowledge of real world primary sources. Now, last but not least, I love to incorporate the Google Slides. Now in Google Slides, it creates dynamic slide decks that aligns the content with real time collaboration and feedback and of course opens it up to depth of knowledge activities now in this video in the fair model i show you here 
They're very easy process in my classroom that you can do yourself as well. Provide the template of the list of keywords. Provide the background of your template for the vocabulary fair models. Have students research online using Google or your provided glossary of terms via PDF for them to research and type and create sentences, definitions, and look for primary sources. Again, searching and researching using Google eliminates the distraction and eliminates those um, processes where the students are lost in trying to draw these concepts. Now they're able to see the primary sources that they will experience in the end of course testing as well. So again, Google and Google Slides is a very wonderful uh, activity that I love to incorporate and you will as well. And look at this wonderful templates. Again, these are their presentations that they're very shareable, very interactive. And again, if you know Google Slides, you know that it is a very interactive live feedback options. Again, you are welcome to use your own templates to create these vocabulary fair models and these slideshows. So again, Julian did a wonderful vocabulary fair model for us to see here. Again, these can be done in your classroom as well. So in this little mini lesson, you've learned the three ways to build better vocabulary. Again, using wordwall.net to warm it up, using Google for real world research, and building and creating using Google Slides. Don't forget to fill out the enclosed assessment form, which reviews the very valuable information that was covered today. I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks again for viewing Mr. Munoz Technology. Until next time.